Hello friends, so this is another tutorial. Uh, after a lot of demand from you guys, we have uh, compiled a series of uh, small small tutorials. In this one, we are going to learn how to make trees in elevation and plan in a very easy and very simplest way. So the first most important thing is to make a ground line, which you can see the horizontal line over here. And then you make the outline profiles using circles and elliptical shapes and little bit of conical. So as per the foliage and the profile of the tree, we just have to keep on going to make the shape or the outline profile. And um, it's most important to understand that what are the outline, you know, uh, profile of a tree. So when you look around in nature, you find there are different types of foliages and some are very circular in shape. Some are little bit of conical, some are elliptical and few are organic. Organic means it can spread widely, which is also extension of circular shapes. But at the same time, you have to observe it and uh, make a foliage. And then what you see in the elevation, you have to reciprocate that same kind of, uh, you know, shape or the size of the circle in plan form. So whatever we draw in the elevation, uh, we have to match it with the plan form. So it has to have the same size, the same uh, span, or you can say the foliage. And uh, then we have to shade it in the same manner. So this is the one series of uh, how the simplest uh, ways of uh, trees are being made. Okay. And the next one that we are drawing right now is uh, for small shrubs. Now shrubs are generally uh, from one feet to two and a half to three feet height. So you can say a meter uh, uh, height from the ground line. So we have to make the foliage in elevation first. And then uh, matching to that we have to make the plant form. So uh, you can observe how the small shrubs are interconnected. They are overlapping at times. And so it is very easy for us to make the profile uh, which is not just directly circle, 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 but it is a combination of different circles to make a, a linear profile, you know, a linear uh, foliage. So this one, the third one that we are drawing is uh, showing the different uh, circular uh, shapes. So here you will find the profiles and uh, how the shadows are casted. So according to the shadows, we have to uh, make the shadows of the shrubs. And uh, on the lower part, we have to just darken it. So once we darken it, then we understand how the shadows are cast. So as per the shadow, we just make simple dot dot. We use dots as the as a as a shadow effect. And uh, you can also use lines. You can also do a little bit of shading using pen. But to save time, you can just make few dots here and there. And that also depicts the same idea. Now in this one, it is very rapid one. So here you can see the effect, how it is seen. And uh, the shadows are at the bottom. And we are going to match it with the plan form. So the, in plan, this looks very easy. I mean, you just have to make circles which are very rough. And you have to uh, put some shadow effect. Uh, so wherever you imagine the sunlight to be falling from, so opposite to that direction, you have to make the shadows. So in this way, you can see how in just uh, three minutes time, we can make different, different type of uh, you know trees and shrubs. Now to add the 3D effect, to go in much detail, what we do is we use dots or stippling effect uh, club with simple lines or shade lines we make the shadow of these uh, trees now the first second third tree is uh, you can use it on the hilly slopes this one the bigger one tree is uh, you can use on the plains or plateaus uh, because it is a fruit bearing tree uh, like a mango or a, a banyan tree or a jackfruit tree and the last ones are more similar to uh, you know Ashoka trees and uh, you know different different type of trees which are found on the slopey regions and in the plan also you have to correspond it together with the uh, dot shadows so you can use dots and little bit of scribblings and doodle lines and you can create the effect which you want to show so it's 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 very interesting how you can uh, depict different different forms and different uh, profiles of uh, shadows using only dots so this way the entire uh, you know the series of trees can be made. So this is the part one. So hope you like it. You can take a screenshot and you can uh, practice it. Now moving on to the next one. It is uh, the series with various trees using pen. So using a pen, how we can shade and how we can create different type of, uh, you know, trees and shrubs and uh, planters. So we'll uh, look into that. So even in this case, we'll have to ensure that the trees are made in proportion. So first of all, we'll make a ground line and then we'll We'll draw a human scale. A human scale is very important for the context to understand what is the side, size of the tree uh, related to the human figure as compared to the human figure, you can say. 
and in this case uh, the human figure we can assume it as 5 feet or maybe one and a half meter tall so we'll start with a smaller shrub which is half the height of the human figure and then a little bigger uh, shrub or you can say the uh, small plant or a planter and then we go to the bush or the bigger tree and then slowly or steadily we'll increase the size of the circles and at the same time we try to shade the lower part of the you know the the curvilinear profile of the tree uh, which also shows that you know the lower part has got shadow and uh, it is a little bit darker as compared to the upper part of the tree so one by one we create the profile of the tree and uh, you can see over here this is a little organic uh, uh, tree profile where you can see a little bit of branches uh, amongst the you know the leaf profile or the foliage and then you can increase the sizes so these are very different uh, ways of how you can show the tree uh, with respect to the human figure or uh, with reference to a human figure and then we again shade it on the lower part using strokes so bigger the tree bigger the strokes smaller the tree uh, the less number of strokes or the less number of shading effect you can use and then in the next part we try to use uh, the same technique and uh, like the earlier chapter in this one also we make uh, oval shapes or elliptical shapes which are vertical in manner so this kind of tree which are uh, used for hilly region so coniferous trees or uh, you know a lot of uh, christmas trees that we see uh, around us in the snow snowy area so the same kind of effect uh, is created here so these kind of trees are linear in shape they are more ornamental and at the same time they are uh, very difficult to draw but uh, by practice you can achieve uh, a good uh, you know hand on it and this way you can just uh, use pen directly to the to the effect which you want to create so a little bit of scribbling lines or doodle lines can also be used to show the roughness of the leaf uh, branches and this way the entire uh, shape of the tree can be drawn so like in the earlier diagram you see the uh, the outline is to be drawn step by step and then you know the trunk is also very proportionate and then you can sh uh, create the shadow uh, on the lower part and then uh, depending on the contour or the uh, depending on the foliage of the branches you can use rapid strokes or shading techniques of lines or dots or uh, you know scribbling lines and then it gives a very different look so all these trees in the second segment are uh, having very different techniques of shading so you can see for yourself and you can also practice them until unless you are satisfied yourself uh, there is no hard and fast rule that you have to draw it like this or that but these are different ways how you can achieve the effect so hope you like it and you can practice and let us know in the comment section so now moving on to the next uh, chapter which is uh, drawing of various trees using uh, colors so in this case we make the trees using only pencil colors so we'll start with the basic technique like we did in the earlier part of the video uh, we make the ground line and with the ground line we also try and draw you know basic uh, shapes or the profiles so here we start with the ground line and uh, then we slowly uh, make the human figure which is again for the context purpose because we need to have a kind of reference of the height or relativity of the height so first we draw with the outline of the shapes which are again uh, circular shapes uh, you can see the height of the human figure slowly the tree shapes are increasing in their height and also the foliage the profile of the tree is uh, getting enlarged so now you can compare with the human figure how the tree enlarges and uh, these are just the outline and then we'll start using the pencil color to shade them so when you're starting with the shading always start with the lighter yellow shade because uh, when the sun uh, light is falling from the upper side of the tree the the foliage is little bit brighter on the upper side so that we have to remember so any any lighter yellow shade you can use on the upper part and then uh, immediately you can start with the lighter green shade so that you can highlight the branches or the leaves which are uh, having the sunlight falling onto them and this way you can shade all the trees 
uh, simultaneously to create a, a dramatic effect or also you can show the um, you know the variety of shading in, in different type of trees. So, all these trees can be clubbed together to make a very interesting you know skyline or a very interesting uh, natural landscape. And then you can add the darker lines, the darker pencil strokes in the lower part of the tree and this way you can highlight all the other uh, you know the elements. So, the tree now suddenly starts looking three dimensional, it, it looks like a pop out uh, diagram or it can you know give a good foreground background effect and this way the tree looks little bit more natural. So, when you are using pencil colors, it gives you a chance to you know uh, give an effect where you know the light to dark effect also creates a kind of three dimensional effect. Then we use the brown shade to highlight the uh, trunk, the tree trunk the vertical element on which the tree supports. So, it is it is more wooden uh, effect. So, you can use light to dark uh, brown shades. With that you can highlight the soil or the mud which is below the tree a little bit of muddy effect. So, it, it gives you the uh, feeling that the tree is uh, supported on the ground and then use little bit of green vertical strokes to highlight the uh, grass patch which is grown under the tree because of the moisture. So, this way it looks very real, very realistic and uh, this way your entire you know uh, foliage is highlighted. Then little bit of dark green here and there you can just uh, use it to highlight depending on the profile or the shadow effect that you are creating. So, with this the uh, entire chapter finishes and then we move on to the next one. So, using a 0.5 pen what we are going to do is uh, we will make a smooth ground line and uh, then we, we are going to use some basic shapes like circle. So, make light very light uh, profiles of circular uh, shapes. You can use little bit of triangular and uh, you can use this kind of ellipse. So, here we are going to make different different foliages. Foliages means the spread of the tree. So, whatever the profile of the tree that you see from uh, distance is the foliage. And uh, then uh, uh, slowly start doing the shading. So, the lower part of these uh, circular shapes or the curvilinear shapes, we will just make them little dark and uh, for that purpose we will use uh, the lighter green color first and then uh, slowly we will add uh, dark green color and uh, uh, to show the effect of sunlight from the top area or the upper area of the trees, we will use the lighter yellow uh, shade you know because uh, when you see a tree from a distance the upper area of the tree uh, is uh, subjected to sunlight so it looks a little brighter than the other green uh, you know uh, shade so in a tree you will have basically three green uh, colors uh, used one is the lighter yellowish green uh, the middle part or the uh, middle foliage that we call uh, it will be a lighter green and then the lower part or the part which is under the shadow of the tree will be darker green so, uh, slowly and steadily what uh, we will do is we will just keep uh, darkening it and we will just highlight the shape or the profile of the tree. Uh, this fourth option that you see is a very interesting uh, kind of a tree which uh, you can practice uh, uh, by looking at a tree or you can take some pictures of uh, natural environment around your house or your uh, city and you can just look at those trees and start making in the same manner. Now, what we are doing is we are using yellow color. Uh, just to highlight the uh, leaves uh, which are subjected to sunlight. So, uh, now you can see the tree foliage is brightened up on the upper edge and on the lower part it is darkened because of the shadows and uh, now it is the time to make the uh, trunk, the tree trunk which is the vertical uh, support on which the tree uh, stands and uh, depending on the width of the tree you have to make your uh, trunk little wider. So, the more slimmer the tree the slimmer will be the uh, you know uh, or you can say narrower will be the trunk and more wider the tree like banyan tree or people tree uh, the trunks will be wider and they will be bigger and they will have more spread. So, according to that spread you can use little uh, dark uh, brown and light brown mix of both the lighter and darker shades to highlight the tree trunks. So, this way you can see the tree is getting highlighted and uh, steadily the tree profile is coming up. So, you can practice like this, you can take screenshots or you can just pause the video and you can practice yourself. And then in the last we are using black gel pen or black uh, pen, ink pen to highlight the profile 
which is uh, in darker uh, shadow part so by this you can highlight the branch or the tree trunk or the uh, you know the edges of the branches and in this way the uh, tree looks in a three dimensional uh, profile and it gives a three dimensional uh, lift to the image this you can see the overall effect of the tree it comes uh, it becomes very lively and uh, that's how you have to overall uh, balance the uh, light to dark shading and with little bit of uh, black uh, ball pen or gel pen uh, line work so this is ready and uh, you can practice this now the most important part when you make the tree is to understand uh, on the ground below the tree uh, because of moisture there is a lot of grass which grows up so when you're making a tree don't just make it like a stick figure always try to make few uh, grass pieces or, or the grass blades which are growing under the tree and which also gives a very good hierarchy of uh, you know uh, uh, of a scale this you can see the overall effect and uh, this is how the uh, proportionate uh, diagram of trees can be made from small to big so with that our uh, chapter number three is complete and now we'll move on to the next uh, part which is uh, how to draw shrubs grass and lawn for doing this what we'll do is we'll uh, start with very basic uh, uh, shapes uh, so to make a grass or a small uh, shrubs uh, we have to use a spiky or you can say a little bit of a blade kind of uh, effect so for that we have to run the pencil in such a manner that we create very sharp uh, uh, leaves or branches and uh, there are very different different ways so here what we are doing is uh, we are creating different different strokes which resemble the uh, uh, small grass blades or the shrubs and uh, at the same time uh, you can darken it using little bit of dark color so dark green is there to highlight the effect so it gives a very a good effect from light to dark and then you can just highlight the ground line with the same green color and then we move on to the next uh, style of uh, rendering which is uh, using olive color olive is a color which we use for showing the grass which is a little bit older in age so olive color gives a very uh, faded out effect so we can use different uh, strokes of leaves or we can make little bit branches or the blades of the grass in different effects so here you can see how different different uh, leaves can be created using directly the pencil color and uh, once you make the basic outline shapes you can then shade those shade those blades uh, internally you can fill the gap and uh, then you can just uh, use the darker part of the, uh, the 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 central core area and then you can use little bit of lighter color green fresh green pencil to highlight the uh, the the brighter part of the grass and uh, so in this way you create a effect which shows that you know when the light is falling on the shrubs or the grass blades it, it gives a very different pattern or it gives from a uh, a fresh color to a darker color so it, it looks new to the old so this way we highlight it and uh, the bottom ground line is also very uh, important to highlight under the grass so we do that using a very dark green color and we try we try to mix it up with the ground line so even the ground line can be colored with green shade now we move on to the next part which is uh, making the lawn effect now when you talk about lawn it means very uh, moved uh, lawn which is uh, trimmed uh, grass pieces or grass blades using a machine so what happens is all the grass blades are of uniform height and they vary from one inch to three or four inches which can be used for playgrounds or golf course or maybe a, 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 a society or a building you know a play area for kids so here what we do is we just make very rapid strokes of vertical lines and uh, we try to increase the density and at the same time we also make it light to dark so at the same time when we are making the finished uh, effect we try to create that kind of uh, you know uh, small small strokes which are very rapid very quick and at the same time you make it from light to dark and then again lighter than uh, dark at few areas so that it gives a very three dimensional look of a lawn you know so a very small vertical strokes but very quick 
so they are like a non-stop strokes as you can see over here and then at the end you can just fade it out you can merge it with the background surrounding and then you can fill it with very simple strokes like you know the horizontal shading strokes so the overall grass lawn effect is created with you know the vertical stroke as well as the horizontal uh, shading effect now in this part i am showing you the uh, enlarged uh, image of how the blades look when you look it closer so in this case you can uh, you know create a very uh, larger area you can cover a larger area of your uh, painting or your drawing uh, using this effect and it is a very quick effect so when you want to save time uh, during the exams you can uh, you know use this kind of technique and you can make a huge space of uh, you know lawn in a maybe a playground or a cricket stadium or a football stadium or also near to the river edges where you can see people you know uh, going towards the river or maybe uh, farm fields so this same effect can be used in a lot of different different ways so this way we highlight a lot of effects and you can also mix and match a lot of different uh, styles of shading you can use shrubs you can use this lawn effect and you can make small grass blades and all together with bigger trees or uh, linear trees you can make a very good interesting uh, imagery of a natural landscape so with this we come to the end of the series uh, i hope you liked it and uh, let us know in the comment section if you want to know more about this landscaping element thank you very much Thank you.